Hey, what is up you amigos? My name is Super Rebel and welcome back to another Far Cry 4 video. Today we have 40 new confirmed facts from the creative director Alex Hutchinson which was given during a podcast with Game Informer and basically it was summarized into 14 facts. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a really awesome video and if you do go into enjoying it, make sure you guys do punch that like button down below. It would be really appreciated if we can get something over 100 plus likes. But either way, sit back, relax, grab a snack, and without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. To kick off these awesome 14 facts, we're going to start off with the map size because I know it's something that a lot of people wanted to hear. So the map size is actually relatively the same square footage of Far Cry 3's Rook Island. And in my opinion, Far Cry 3's map was really big and if you have played it you would understand as well. So uh, yeah, that is pretty awesome, but however due to Far Cry 4 having mountainous regions, the creative director Alex said that the map is more dense than that of Far Cry 3. So basically, long story short, Far Cry 4's map is going to be 100 times more awesome than Far Cry 3's. Now the next fact is actually about breathing in this game and I'm seriously not even lying right now because Alex said that thin air is a factor in some mountainous areas. And he continued to say that you need to have oxygen in these areas and sometimes you do not have much of it. So the first time I heard this, I actually thought this is a cool feature that they have added into Far Cry 4 because there's not really another game where breathing kinda is a big impact and will have an impact on you. So with that said, it definitely does make this game a lot more realistic and definitely challenging as well. And a challenging game is always a good game in my opinion. Now the next fact is actually about multiplayer and if you didn't know, when you buy the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3 version for Far Cry 4, you will receive around 10 tickets called Keys to Kyra and these are tickets that you can give to your friends and once they receive these tickets they will be able to download a limited version for this game that has all the co-op content and everything but the single player content. But either way I thought this was pretty cool because if your friend can't get the game from whatever reason it will be kind of cool to help them out and then of course you can still play with them and have fun so it's kind of like a win win situation. Now they will only be able to play the limited version if you are playing the main version of Far Cry 4 but Alex said he is not sure at this moment in time but Sony might implement a time box. Now unfortunately there isn't going to be split screen co-op but to me this doesn't really affect me in any way because everyone pretty much nowadays does play online together but I think it would have been a cool feature to have for when your friends come over and stuff like that. But with that said and where they added the feature as I mentioned before where you have those 10 tickets where you can give to friends where they can pretty much download the game and play with you without the disc does kind of make up for not having co-op but that's just of course my opinion. So for everyone wondering, there is actually going to be a competitive multiplayer mode in Far Cry 4 but no details were given and the team views Far Cry 3's multiplayer as unsuccessful but they are using these lessons that they learned to hopefully build a better fanbase with the Far Cry 4's multiplayer. And so far I think they're actually doing a really good job and especially in the more recent trailer we saw, we have a gyrocopter which we can fly with friends in multiplayer which is basically like a, a flying car I guess you could say. I'm not too sure I'm bad at explaining things but either way we saw it in the more recent trailer and it just looks pretty awesome in my opinion. So Wingsuits are making a return back in Far Cry 4 as you have probably already seen and with the rumour going around about how we are apparently going to unlock these halfway into the game, it's safe to say that you sir or female are actually talking a load of crap because Alex said that you will unlock the Wingsuit pretty early in the game. Now in some of the game's cinematics, players can interrupt them with actions, however the player will not have a prompt to do so because these will be hidden. This was made to address Far Cry 3's quick time event driven boss fights. Also it sounds like there are no QTEs in Far Cry 4. You can throw grenades through enemy car windows whilst you are driving and then drive away which I think is pretty cool because that way of course you don't really have to get involved in the mess and you can just simply drive away like it was none of your business. So fire still spreads in Far Cry 4 which is pretty cool because it will come in handy definitely in some sort of way. 
You can turn off the HUD and each element of the UI, like XP feedback, etc. It's designed with the next-gen console sharing features in mind. Now, the next fact is actually kind of depressing, and I really don't want to say it, but I have to, and the fact is, there's not going to be any sharks in Far Cry 4, so, uh, yeah, this is, this is kind of depressing, because it's, oh my god! Okay, seriously though, this is kind of depressing because in my previous video I was talking about sharks and I said how Ubisoft are most likely, probably, definitely going to put sharks into Far Cry 4 because it was in the previous Far Cry, but yeah, they're not and I kind of feel like a douche now, but either way, they replaced the sharks with demon fish and honey badges, which I guess is kind of cool, but to be honest, I still wanted sharks because sharks were pretty awesome in Far Cry 3, but I would love to hear what your thoughts are, so let me know right now down in the comment section below. So you can reset outposts which is pretty cool but the team is given a narrative reason for it. So the next fact is actually pretty cool because there are multiple endings but they are less clear than in Far Cry 3 so there's no push a button for a good ending or a bad ending. And now the last fact is you can pick sides with the different factions and then this will affect relationships with different characters and of course then affect the endings which I think is pretty cool because you're not really going to be aware whilst you are playing the game. So you can basically play bad guy, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So there it is, 14 facts for Far Cry 4, which were pretty awesome in my opinion, but I would love to hear what was your favourite fact, let me know right now in the comment section below and I will leave my answer below too. But either way, this does bring today's video to an end and I really hope you guys did enjoy this one. And if you are new to this channel, thank you for stopping by, please do hit that subscribe button below to stay up to date with the latest in Far Cry 4 news, ideas, updates and all that good stuff. That would be really appreciated and of course you will become an amigo and part of the amazing, awesome, beautiful team. But either way, I will see you guys in my next video, which will be tomorrow. But until then, I hope you have a really awesome day, and adios amigos. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up!